A pen is mightier than the sword is a saying that we've all heard at some point in our life but with smartphones practically dominating our lives for a long time I think we seem to have lost touch Infinix is here to change that because this is the Infinix Note 5 Stylus. Hey, this is Shri Hari from Mr. Phones, and this is an unboxing and first impressions. And if you're wondering where the unboxing is, let's get to that. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel then there is a red subscribe button at the bottom please hit that and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified for all the cool tech videos that Mr. Phone puts out. So beginning with the first impressions first of all the thing that we have to talk about here is design. Now I have reviewed an Infinix Note 5 in the past and there have been a lot of other Infinix phone that I've tried but Infinix Note 5 was admittedly the first phone that got me excited because of the stock Android and the looks that the Note 5 had. Now this is the Note 5 stylus and I have to say that this is a major upgrade from that. That was a complete plastic body with a plastic side and a glossy plastic back and obviously it got scratches very easily as you might have seen in the review. This on the other side is a metal phone and if you take a closer look at the phone you'll realize that it is made of a single block of aluminum. There is no seam that I can see on this phone. There are obviously the antenna lines that have been curved. Apart from that, the whole thing has been carved out of a single block of metal, which actually makes it feel very, very premium. There's also a very premium, beautiful looking chamfer all around the phone that you can see around the front. And when you look at it from the front around the black, which really makes it look sexy. Now, apart from that, obviously the antenna lines are here. At the back, you can see a very well accented black camera and fingerprint sensor module. Uh, they've been also placed very symmetrically and I'm really liking the red and black vibe that's going on on the phone. You'll find Infinix branding, the Note 5 designed by Infinix and the most important branding on a phone that at least for a reviewer is that is the Android One branding. So this is running stock Android, we'll talk about that later. But apart from that, at the bottom you can see a micro USB port straight in the middle actually flanked by two screws which makes it look very symmetrically placed. You have a microphone not so symmetrically placed, a headphone jack, machine grill speaker holes and the stylus placed very beautifully. Now I think I should talk about the stylus here, just the way that it has been made. The stylus fits exactly like a Note phone or the recent Note phones that have had a clicky thing at the back and it has become a fidgeting tool for me because this is what I'm doing all day and it's really reassuring to finally have a pen with me that also works with my phone. Now we keep it and we'll talk about the pen later but that's it for the design. Now we move on to the display of the phone. Now on the front we have a 5.93 inch full HD plus display. It's an 18 by 9 display. It again like the Note 5 does not have a notch. Thank you so much. And this one actually goes to 500 nits of brightness on paper, which is actually quite bright. And this is the same brightness that I think the Redmi Note 6 Pro that was recently launched was upgraded to by Xiaomi. And this phone from Infinix also goes to 500 nits on the screen, uh, which is actually quite a lot of brightness. And when I've been in daylight with this phone, I've never had a problem. So I think things do match. And also another thing that I noticed is that the curve on the display almost matches, almost exactly matches the curve on the phone or on the outer part of the display which is something that a lot of phones miss out on that this is something that in fact makes the phone look symmetrical this is something a lot of brands miss or by design is purposefully put made that way but i'm really glad to see that this is very symmetrical with how the phone's curvature is now that we've talked about the display let me tell you what's inside the phone so this phone as i told you in the beginning is running android one which is stock android it's a program from google uh, where the phone comes with the bare minimum google apps and 
runs stock android and the other thing is that you get the fastest software updates obviously apart from the pixel phones so this being an android one phone you can be sure that you'll get the latest updates before any other manufacturer does that is another thing to note in the infinix note 5 stylus apart from that you obviously have the standard st settings if you go into about phone you'll realize that this phone is running android 8.1.0 oreo and will obviously soon be updated to android pie because it's running the android one program since this is running android st stock android on the left you'll find the google now page uh, which is something a lot of people use on a daily basis i do there's google assistant in the home button and also in the alarm clock when i use this i actually found a google routine that i can put up uh, that's probably a recent update from google but this is something that i noticed only on this phone very recently so i can set a google assistant routine uh, which actually does a lot of things as i've set it in the routine so basically in my routine what i've set is as soon as the alarm wakes me up it'll tell me about my weather about my commute to wherever i'm going maybe to my work it'll tell me whatever the agenda is on today's calendar i also tell me the reminders and play my favorite podcast so these are the things that obviously google is offering on almost every android phone and also on the infinix note 5 stylus with running stock android one program so now we move on to what's inside inside the phone we have a helio p23 chipset which is an octa core chipset from mediatek uh, running at 2 gigahertz now this is a processor that isn't really known to be very powerful i'll obviously test it out in my full review and let you know what it does uh, but with the recent things that i've been using this phone is not as smooth as i would have liked it to be i've obviously installed all the apps that i do on a phone so this is obviously packed right now with the amount of apps so this is obviously the first impressions and i haven't really tested out anything yet but i'll let you know all of it in my full review so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the full review of this phone apart from the helio p23 chipset you also get 4 gigs of ram and 64 gb storage inside the phone with obviously the ability to add a micro sd card and two sim slots now apart from that one thing that i have tested out and one thing i did enjoy my time with even in these last 3 4 days is the stylus on the Infinix Note 5. So on the stylus, as soon as you take it out, it opens up a small menu from the side, which obviously lets you choose between creating a note, writing a memo, viewing the files that you've already made, taking a screenshot, a custom screenshot with the shape that you want to with, and you can also doodle on the screenshot. You also have a painting mode where you can go and paint, uh, and you have a lot of options in this. Uh, this is my, personally, this is my first phone that I've tried with a stylus, and I've enjoyed my time with it. I found myself using the stylus a lot even to navigate through the ui of the phone and of course when it came to taking notes i have had i have taken a lot of notes on this the pen also actually detects 4096 points of pressure and you can actually realize that when you go into drawing something or maybe write something you'll realize that when you put pressure on it you'll see the stroke becoming thicker and thicker and when you put less pressure you'll see the stroke going thinner this is something that i noticed and i've enjoyed my time with the stylus is all i can say right now there's also a button on the stylus that you can use to do different things if you double tap it will open up the memo right away um, if you long press on it while drawing it will change from eraser to the pen or the brush that you have on here are a few random drawings that i drew so you can take a look at what i do i'm not an artist by any means i just i just doodle something and if i can do this and i can i'm pretty sure that all the artists out there the people who like to do that can take their canvas with them any way they want in their phone so for the artists, for the creators who actually know how to draw, who do things, uh, can actually have this phone with them. This is not that expensive. This is a very, very budget alternative to carrying your canvas with you with a pen with almost precision and you can draw a lot of things, doodle a lot of things on your phone. This is a very unique proposition that you get. It is probably the only mainstream phone that you can find in India with a stylus that costs under 20,000. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. The pen also does charge. So obviously if you take it out, the whole whole time it won't work after a while after the battery is gone but it does work uh, for almost 90 minutes untethered which is much more time than anyone would doodle but how it charges is you just put it inside the phone and it has two points where it charges from on the top and it charges automatically by you putting it inside the phone now talking about that charging you have a 4000 mAh battery inside this is 1000 mAh less than the Infinix Note 5 which is an actual beast when it comes to battery life 
the Infinix Note 5 lasted for days. Uh, it is obviously 1000 mAh less and, and a lot of features on it obviously. But I think the 4000 mAh battery should also be lasting you pretty long. But obviously I'll test all of it out for the full review. But apart from the 1000 mAh less battery from the Infinix Note 5 on the Infinix Note 5 stylus, there's one very unique thing that you'll find here that is not present on the Infinix Note 5 and that is fast charging. So this comes in the box with an 18 watt charger which is something very few phones offer under the 20,000 price range and I was really shocked to see that you get an 18 watt charger inside. It also has something called AI power management. I'm not really sure what it does but let me test it out fully for my full review and I'll let you know what it actually does if it actually charges faster than most phones. I think this is a unique proposition for all the things that I've tested on my first impressions and the things that I see on paper specs. I think I'm really expecting a lot from this phone. Now the rear camera is a 16 megapixel AI camera with an f1.8 aperture which is actually quite good. You have dual LED flash, uh, there is scene detection, there are all the different modes like AI portrait, HDR, beauty mode, professional, night camera, panorama, time lapse, all the different modes that you find on a standard phone are available on this. The front camera also is again a 16 megapixel lens, uh, again and a 16 megapixel AI camera with an f2 aperture but also comes with pixel binning which is something that a lot of manufacturers use. This was generally a trend started by HTC where you uh, do pixel binning which is basically combining four pixels into one so you get information of four pixels in one pixel basically making the best picture out of the resolution that you get from the front camera. So obviously I generally in my first impressions reserve my thoughts about the camera, the front camera, the rear camera but what I do is I'll show you a lot of samples, a few samples from the back camera, a few samples from the front camera and you can decide for yourself what you think. You can let us know in the comment section what you think of the front camera and the back camera. We'll obviously tell you our full thoughts or my full thoughts in the full review that's coming up very soon. Now the phone comes with a dual sim capability and dual Volti capability. So on both sims you can use 4G Volti. I've actually tested it out with my Vodafone and Geo sim. Uh, I obviously tested them out. Both of them worked, both of them showed VOLT. I've obviously not tested it out completely but, but again that's going in my full review. So I guess with that we can end this video. So this was the Infinix Note 5 stylus. This was a first impressions and unboxing. Please let me know what you thought of this. The price of the phone is not revealed yet. On the box it does say 16,000. I'm thinking somewhere around 15,000. But as soon as we get to know the official price you'll find that in the description below. So please go ahead in the description, you'll find the price. You'll also find the launch articles with all the details on paper. So please go ahead and check that. Also, Mr. Phone Awards is going on. So if you haven't voted yet, please go down in the description, vote for your favorite phone. And if a lot of you don't know, voting for this award also automatically enters you into a giveaway where five lucky winners stand a chance to win 500 rupee vouchers from Amazon. So go ahead, vote for your favorite phone and make them win the Mr. Phone User Choice Award 2018. So I guess with that, we come to an end of this video that's it for this one thank you so much for watching this is Srihari from Mr. Phone with the hot red Infinix Note 5 stylus and I'll catch you in the next one